Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology in Jais, Amathi, Uttar Pradesh, India, is a training and education institute that gives technical and management training to the petroleum industry and was formally opened on July 2008. The Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas MOP and NG, Government of India founded the institute through an Act of Parliament Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology Act 2007. The institute is empowered to award degrees in its own right. RGIPT is co-promoted as an energy domain-specific institute by six leading oil public sector units ONGC, IOCL, Oil, Gale, BPCL and HPCL in association with the Oil Industry Development Board OIDB and with an academic mentorship from IIT Kanpur. The institute is associating with leading international universities, institutions specializing in the domain of petroleum technology. It has been accorded the Institute of National Importance status and a governance structure similar to that available to IITs. It admits undergraduate students from the rank list of students who have qualified joint entrance examination, advanced, G advanced examination. Topic RGIPT campuses. Topic Jai's Amethi campus. Started academic sessions in June 2008 at a temporary campus at Ray Borelli. On 15 October 2016, the institute moved from temporary campus to the permanent campus at Jais. This campus offers the B.Tech, M.Tech, Ph.D. programs and other research-related activities. The cost for setting up this campus was 8.61 billion rupees $120 million. Topic Noida Campus. This campus used to run MBA and related courses. On the 15th of October 2016, the institute moved from temporary campus to the permanent campus at Jais. Topic Assam Campus started academic sessions in 2017 at Sivasagar, Assam in 37 acres as a first phase while 63 acres is under construction. In consonance with the charter of RGIPT, the objective of this campus is offering of programs of education and training of skilled technical manpower at the certificate, diploma and post-diploma level in various areas in the domain of petroleum, petrochemical and allied sector, training and certificate programs refresher and induction for working professionals of oil and gas, petrochemical and allied companies, to serve serve as a skill development center for the Northeast region and to offer B.Tech, in fire safety engineering domain of the petroleum sector as per requirements of the oil, gas and petrochemical industry. On May 13, 2017, Chief Minister of Assam Sarbananda Sonawal and Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas Sri Dharmendra Pradhan jointly launched the full swing construction work of second campus at Sivasagar, Assam. This campus is being built at a cost of 8.801 billion rupees, $120 million. Bangalore Campus Third campus of RGIPT, Energy Institute, Bangalore is in Bengaluru, which is envisioned to be a distinguished energy research institute offering world-class research, and education, so as to be ranked in the top 20 institutes of the world in next 20 years. 
In July 2013, Karnataka government agreed to offer 150 acres of land to set up the Bangalore Centre which is going to be the Asia's first centre on fire and safety for oil and gas sector. The institute will start functioning from 2018–19 academic year. The purpose of the Energy Institute is to drive economic growth through energy R&D, technology development, energy innovation and entrepreneurship. The institute would conduct cutting-edge industrial, technological, and basic research, offer education to students, and training to industry professionals in the field of energy. The institute is also aiming to create Energy Experience Center, Incubation Cell, E-Cell, Office of Licensing and Commercialization to facilitate immersive experience of energy technologies. This campus would initially house 10 research labs established over 1.8 lakh square feet in a research cum academic complex. An energy experience center, incubation, e-cell, library, auditorium and seminar halls etc. will support the activities of the campus. The institute coming up will cost 18 billion rupees $250 million. For setting up of the institute, a land of 150 acres has been allotted to RGIPT by Government of Karnataka in Kambalipura, Hozikot Taluk. While construction of this center of excellence in Kambalipura land would require a few years, academic sessions would begin from the year 2018–19 from a temporary campus of Visvewaraya Technological University campus, Mudanahali Chikabelapur district. To start with three M-Tech programs are designed in the fields of renewable energy, power and energy systems engineering and energy science and technology that would commence from September 2018. Admissions <inaudible> 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 The institute admits B.Tech students from the rank list of qualified students in the prestigious G Advanced Examination and M.Tech through GATE. For MBA, institute admits candidates from qualification through CAT score. For admission to PhD programs, candidates must have a valid scorecard of GRE, NET, UGC, CSIR, NBHM, DBT, GPAT, Rajiv Gandhi National Fellowship, Maulana Azad National Fellowship, DST Inspire Award or any similar fellowship. topic Opening and closing ranks in each category Opening and closing ranks for each category in G Advanced 2016 Topic <laughs> Academic programs RGIPT offers courses in engineering, pure sciences, management and humanities with a focus on petroleum engineering. The programs and courses offered at RGIPT are changing as the school evolving into a full-fledged petroleum engineering university. Admission to the courses of BTEC is done from candidates appearing for G Advanced Examination. Admission to the M-Tech courses are done either through the Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering gate. Admissions to the MBA program is done through the Common Admission Test CAT. Admission to the MSc, Tech, and PhD courses are done through examinations conducted by the Institute. Departments RGIPT has the following departments Department of Petroleum Engineering Department of Chemical Engineering Department of Management Studies 
Department of Geology Department of Chemistry Department of Physics Department of English Department of Mathematics Topic Future Departments Department of Instrumentation Engineering Department of Fire Engineering Department of Mechanical Engineering Topic Academic Collaboration RGIPT has academic collaboration with the many universities in India and abroad. Some of the major universities which have a Memorandum of Understanding MOU and share research projects with RGIPT are as follows, Texas A&M University, USA Kun Shan University, Taiwan Chonam National University, South Korea Lund University, Sweden Cheng Shiu University, Taiwan Louisiana State University, USA National Yunlin University of Science and Technology Technology, Taiwan University of Houston, USA Indian Institute of Petroleum, Dehradun Faculty of Management Studies, New Delhi IIT Kanpur IIT Bombay <laughs> Integrated Aerospace Development Program RGIPT has collaborated with some pioneer institutes for advancements in aviation, aerospace and rocket fuels, petroleum technology. Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur through an MOU has decided to be the mentor of the program. Fundamentally, the aerospace program is by IET Raybareli from APJ Abdul Kalam Technical University. Currently, the program is running in complete collaboration with Indira Gandhi Rashtriya Uran Academy. MNNIT Allahabad and Indian Institute of Information Technology, Allahabad are providing academic assistance. In future, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore is said to be in full-fledged resource academic and managerial collaboration with FGIET, IET Raybareli. Admission process depends on several factors including aptitude, intellect, personality and learning of the student. The selected students are a group who have qualified at least one of the required admission tests like G Mains, Advanced, WBJEE, CAKTU and even SATs. The students have been provided residential services in campus at Ratapur, Ray Barelli. The educational program will require for transition in between college departments, campuses on an annual even semester basis. Campus The institute started functioning from a leased land from Feroz Gandhi Institute of Engineering and Technology at Ray Barelli as academic centre and ET Township as residential centre for almost nine years. On 15 October 2016, the institute was moved to its 125-acre newly constructed permanent campus at Jais, Uttar Pradesh. The infrastructure is not completely finished, but is expected to complete within five years. The new campus is a state-of-the-art campus with air-conditioned classrooms having projectors, high-definition televisions, computers for the faculty, video conferencing equipment. LAN connectivity has been provided in each room including hostel, classrooms along with permanent Wi-Fi setup has been provided. Kultarang Kultarang is the annual cultural and sports fest of Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology, Amethi. 
It is a themed fest, generally held in the month of February every year, since the very first time in 2011. It is a three-day fest having events like rock band performance, fashion show, rock band competition, stand-up comedy, cyber gaming, themed events, various sports events. It attracts a lot of young crowd from across the state to take part in the events of the fest. In the past, rock bands, celebrities, poets such as Local Train, Astitva, Surya Kumar Pandey have been a part of Kultarang. It is one of the biggest cultural fest held in the Lucknow Allahabad region. Topic placements During the campus inauguration speech of Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas Sri Dharmendra Pradhan said, the present central government has come up with many schemes for improving the standard of education in the country and it was our priority to start the RGIPT at the earliest. I assure that the government and private petroleum companies will come here for placements and the youths of Amethy will get accolades in the near future. The institute witnessed participation of multitude of companies across varied domains. Students of BTech, MTech, and MBA outgoing 2016 batch successfully got opportunities across diversified profiles and various functions in the organizational setup. Some of the prominent brands that came for final placements in the past and present were, Oil and Natural Gas Corporation Oil India Bharat Petroleum Indian Oil Corporation Hindustan Petroleum Oil India Limited Nighty AAYOG Oil and Natural Gas Corporation Reliance Industries Limited Bharat Oman Refinery Limited HMEL American International Group Engineers India Limited UOP LL C. Can India Essa Oil Shell Business Operations Adani Gas Limited Petronet LNG Haldir Petrochemicals Larsen and Tobro Infotech Tech Mahindra Global Data Globus Spirits Avanti Learning Center Many students from the institute go further with higher education in the international universities. The institute recommends the meritorious students to these universities and also helps them in representing India at international conferences across the world. Milestones July 4, 2007, the Union Cabinet approved the setting up of the Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology at Jais in Amethi district of UP. November 29, 2007, the Raja Sabha passed the Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology Bill 2007. December 3, 2007, the Lok Sabha passed the Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology RGIPT Bill 2007. February 20, 2008, Congress President and UPA Chairperson Sonia Gandhi lays foundation stone of Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology at Jais. 2008–2009, start of academic session. 2011, former Prime Minister of India Manmohan Singh laid the foundations of the Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology 2012, first BTEC batch passes out. 2013, Bangalore Centre gets approved. 2014, Virappa Moili, former Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas inaugurates Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology at Kambalipura Village, Hoskote Taluk, Bangalore District 2015, first convocation was conducted with Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas Dharmendra Pradhan and other high-level dignitaries from Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas as chief guests 2016, Institute is moved to the permanent campus at Jais
October 22, 2016, Union Ministers, Minister of Textiles Srimati Smiti Irani, Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas Sri Dharmendra Pradhan and Minister of Human Resource Development Sri Prakash Javadeka, inaugurated the permanent campus at Jais. May 2017, the Institute increases the student intake for BTEC program to 120 seats from 75 seats. May 13, 2017, Chief Minister of Assam Sarbananda Sonawal and Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas Sri Dharmendra Pradhan jointly launched the full swing construction work of second campus at Sivasagar, Assam. December 2017, Sivasagar Campus starts academic sessions for Diploma in Petroleum and Chemical Streams. September 2018, Bangalore Campus starts academic sessions for three MTEC – courses in the fields of Renewable Energy, Power and Energy Systems Engineering and Energy Science and Technology. Topic Budget Topic Jai's Campus The total estimated capital cost Rs eight hundred and sixty one crores Rs four hundred and sixteen crores Central Exchequer plus Rs 250 crores goy plus 150 crore rupees oil industry development board plus rs 45 crores institute itself the institute's permanent campus infrastructure was provided with 129 crore rupees during congress led upa government and additional 302 crore rupees were provided by the current nda government for completion of campus during fiscal 2016-17 ministry of petroleum and natural gas has allocated additional rs 47 crores while the institute remains independent to generate more funds for operational purposes through college fees and other funds awards topic <laughs> Sivasagar campus The detailed project report has stated the cost for setting up and running Sivasagar campus will be 8.801 billion rupees, 120 million dollars, in which 3.96 billion rupees, 55 million dollars will be for spent for land acquisition and construction of facilities and 4.83 billion rupees, 67 million dollars for running the institute. Topic: Bangalore Campus. The detailed project report has stated the cost for setting up and running Bangalore Campus will be 18 billion rupees, 250 million dollars, in which 8 billion rupees, 110 million dollars, will be for spent for land acquisition and construction of facilities, and 10 billion rupees, 140 million dollars, for research-related activities. It one of the most expensive research institutes in India. Topic See also Institute of National Importance List of autonomous higher education institutes in India Joint entrance examination Education in India